And today we're going to take a look at the new cloth brush that is now available for Blender 2.83, the Alpha, and we'll go through the deformation types and how you can work with this brush. Previously, before now, this was an Alpha brush that was only teased as one of the build branches, but it's very exciting to see that this brush now exists in the Alpha version of Blender 2.83. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So today we're going to be taking a look at Blender 2.83 and you know, there is an update that has to do with the cloth brush. Previously, we did talk about this when it was just available as an alpha brush, but now this brush seems to be solid and it is now here within the 2.83 release note. Now we're going to go ahead and just simply play with it a little bit and I've been playing with it for a while now and there is a you know a huge significant difference between what it used to look like when it was just in the alpha you know version and what it feels like right now so directly here i have this very simple you know box and i've actually gone ahead to add a couple of subdivisions so if i just simply click here and go over to the wireframe you can see how dense this is you definitely need something like this for you to try this tool out and i'm just going to come over here and start playing with it so what we've done is we've come over here to select this which has to do with the you know the cloth right now it doesn't have an icon as this is just published about a few hours ago so with this right here what we can do is we can simply set this to drag which is the native deformation type within the deformation you notice that we have seven deformations that exist here these deformations were existing in the previous you know alpha but they were not working as much as you know we are seeing it right now so i'm just going to go ahead and start moving this and you can see how organic this actually interacts with what we have here so this is quite interesting to see and with this you can simply create some very interesting and organic looking object so i also noticed that if you're using a display or you're using a pen that you may actually fall into uh this so right now i'm switching over to the pen and you can see if i start doing this it's making use of the pressure coming out from the pen you know to do this right so this would definitely give you some very interesting outcomes at the end of the day so with the pen you can use this to actually paint things across and get some wrinkles and also you know a couple of folds so if you want to make things like pillow you know bed sheets you would be able to use this to actually do those things and i can see a whole lot of use cases of this so the only way you can have collision while using these two right now is by using the mask all right so you can use the mask to actually paint certain regions so with the mask right here you can use it to paint certain regions let's say i can come over here and pin this and if you're not comfortable with this you can always turn of symmetry here all right so you can use this to pin certain regions and once you pin those regions so i'm just going to come through and just simply pin this right here so once you pin those regions you can now go over here and use this to start making those deformation of course i'm using the pen so you can see that so you can use this to start making the deformation and this is the only time you can have this kind of collision happening here so the other kind of deformation types that comes with this is the push so with the push here if I start moving this, you can notice I'm pushing this in and it's giving us some very interesting looking shape. And I think you can use this for, you know, things like cottons and stuff. So this is very, very nice. At the same time, you can use this to show off a deflated balloon. At the same time, you can also use this for some very interesting use cases. So if I just simply click and drag, you can see what we have here as some sort of deformation. And let's actually undo this a little bit more so that you guys can see. And if I drag all the way out, you can notice this very, you know, nice rippling or should I say uh, contrasting effects that happens here. This is for the push. Now, if we go over here and switch this to you know the pinch point we can use this to actually pinch a particular point you know and, and just use it to tack things together so in case you want to use this for things like uh shirts maybe you want to use it to show some you know rough looking character and you want to pin their shirts to certain parts or uh, maybe you want to use this to pin certain things or give the illusion of you know you're trying to sew something or you know you're trying to pinch things in order then you can use this you can also find the other one that has to do with the pinch perpendicular. So you can also use this to do that. And we also have this other interesting one here, 
that has to do with inflate so we can use the inflate to get some very interesting looking stuff here as well and we also have the grab which i think works a bit more like you know the drag all right so we can use the grab to actually get things like this so i think the grab is more like you know the push and the drag combined so I, I just kind of feel like it looks that way because of how it kind of operates, all right? So I can use this, and now I'm switching over to the pen. So I can use this to do that, and you can see it kind of respects the pressure, and you can use this to actually get rapid uh, response and, you know, rapid feedback with whatever model you're working with. All right, so with this out of the way, if I take a look at the very last one, which is expand, so I'm just gonna undo all of this and go over to the last one which is expand we can use the expand to give some very you know interesting organic effects going on around around here so i have a feeling that there is a kind of you know alpha that this is running under or there is some sort of alpha that this is running on the background i can't really you know uh push that theory all the way out but i have a feeling that there is something like that that this is working with which is totally fine all right this is something really new and revolutionary and it's really cool to see that we have it here in blender so let's take a last look at the first follow for plane so we've taken a look at the first follow for the radial so for the plane we're just going to simply use the drag and right here if we start playing with this you can see we have this plane you know directly here and we can use this to push things all the way up and we can use this to fold or you know rumple stuff or you know create some sort of crease and stuff around our object anyhow we want so with this you can create some very organic looking objects and you can also use this to create some very organic looking stuff and you can still go in there and hold down shift and simply paint out these things in case you don't really want them to look all shabby and rugged you can still use shift to get some very smooth looking edges all around this and at the same time we do have a very you know very simple cloth here so i'm just going to simply load up this cloth so that we can see so a very good use case for this is with this cloth which we have here i'm just going to play this back so you can see we have this cool deformation going on i can simply stop this and have this you know right here let's go through and bake this i'm going to hit apply to bake that and if we switch over to our sculpting we can now use our cloth brush which doesn't have an icon as it stands right so it doesn't have an icon right now so we can use our cloth brush and we can switch this to plane and we can use this to do certain stuff so i'm just going to turn off symmetry because we don't want that as it stands now and i can use this to move this around of course this is you know going through the whole thing all right so i can use this to move this around and at the same time i can also switch this to the grab and we can also use the grab to actually you know i think that was a bit too much so i'm going to switch over to radio and yeah so we can use the grab to deform how this looks this you know right now looks boring and too clean right so with this we can start getting some very interesting looking stuff so that looks you know way too organized and too clean so with this we can start adding all of those very nice uh looking you know folds and rumples that we get to see naturally so you can have this and you can you know smooth out the parts which you you choose to smooth out you can paint in certain parts and you can use this brush for a lot of things not just only for this at the same time you can switch this and use it for clothes that you're working with in you know marvelous designer export those things directly into blender and at the same time if you want to do things like clothes simulation you just want to simulate certain things you may use this as an added advantage to actually get something going or probably you might just simply stick with this depending on the kind of clothes that you're trying to simulate using this tool and that's about it i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section if you want to get this this is now available as part of the alpha sculpting tools that exist with the blender 2.83 alpha that is on the blender website so in case you want to get that link is going to be in the description link is also going to be in the description just in case you want to you know read up these things and see all of this and how you can work with them the seven brushes are here and that's it i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section have you used this have you tried with the previous ones have you seen the previous video which we did about this 
are you into blender and what is your take about the whole sculpting thing happening in blender i kind of feel that you know pablo is doing a very wonderful job and the tools coming over to blender are becoming revolutionary every single day tell me what your thoughts are in the comment section and if you like this video or you learned something from it you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace